Hello. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to collimate your telescope. If you'd like to support us, please visit buy-telescope.com. Thank you. To collimate your telescope, we're going to use a small tool. It is a laser collimation tool. Okay, so this is my tool. It's basically uh, just a pipe with a hole that you can see uh, around this area. So it's a big circle and in the middle of the circle there's a hole and here you have an opening. And basically what it does when you turn it on, I just turn this screw to turn it on and I point it at the wall and it's just a red laser beam that points. So this is the tool that we're going to use. This one came with the telescope. Uh, you can buy one for under $40 or you can spend more money if you want a quality one. Alright, so I've got my telescope here and the first thing I want to do is tilt the telescope downwards. And the reason you want to do that is you're going to be playing with some tools in here uh, from the opening from this end. And if you keep the uh, angle straight up and you drop a tool, guess where it's going to hit? It's going to hit the primary mirror at the bottom. So you don't want to break a mirror. Uh, it's expensive to replace, so that's why we tilt it that way. The next step is to put in the collimator in the focuser. Okay, so let's just look at that again. Just take it out, put it back in. Now, one thing I want to point out here is this is the hole of, in the collimator. Uh, you can't see it very well from that angle, but here it is. Uh, what you want to do is align that so it points towards the bottom of your telescope. So if you're sitting behind, you're, you can look up and see the hole. And we'll need to uh, be in this position later on to set up the uh, telescope. So I'm going to lock it in place. Alright, so now I'm going to turn my laser on. And this is with a screw on this model. Sometimes it's an end cap here that you tight over here. So you'd have a little cab that you twist, but I have a screw. So I turn that on. And down here you can see a faint glow, so that means it's on. Now, what you don't want to do is go at the end of the telescope and stick your head down there and look in. Because you need to be aware of where your, your laser is pointing currently. The idea is that it starts from... Uh, the focuser and it hits the secondary mirror at a 45 degree angle and then bounces down the tube all the way to the end where it hits the primary mirror. If your telescope is aligned it would bounce back up, hit the secondary mirror again and then bounce back uh, where it started and that's what we want to do, that's how we want to adjust it, but it may not be that way now. So the first thing I'm going to do as a precaution is just wave my hand in front and there you go. You can see uh, the laser clearly hitting my hand, that means things are completely out of line. What's happening here is, um, it starts from here, it hits the, the secondary mirror, goes down the tube, hits the primary mirror, goes back up but completely misses the um, secondary mirror and that's why I can see it on my hand here. So now that I know where it's coming out from, uh, you know, if I look in, uh, basically I want to make sure I don't stick my eye in that spot. And this is a process that you can do uh, at different points as you adjust your mirrors, just as a precaution, always know where your laser is pointing. Now, we're going to have a look inside the tube here. Okay, so what we're seeing here is a view of when you look into the telescope. So this is the end that would point towards the sky and what you have here is three screws. These are the adjustment screws for your secondary mirror. So by turning these screws in one direction or another, what it does is it tilts the mirror uh, a certain way. And that's what we're going to do to set it up. Now you would use a screwdriver for this procedure. I'm just going to use my hands for the purpose of the video. Now I'm going to zoom in to the primary mirror 
and what you'll see there is uh, right in the center a black circle right there that is the mark on the primary mirror to indicate where the center is so I'm gonna just turn on my laser so I've got a, a dot that just appeared so I'll turn it off and back on so you can see it off and on okay so the goal is to play with my screws in the front here so that I can get that dot to move towards the center of my uh, primary mirror so you're seeing my hands uh, from the top there that's just a reflection so I'm gonna move and I'm twisting the screws and that basically moves the little laser dot until I get right on it right in the center okay so now we've got our uh, secondary mirror uh, all set up what we'll do is go look at our primary mirror so I'm just going to turn this around and bring the other end this way alright this is what the end of my telescope looks like and what we have is these are locking screws and these are adjustment screws so the first thing we do is we start by loosening the locking screws and that will allow me to play with the adjustment screws now I'm gonna angle the camera because you should be looking at basically your collimator and I'm gonna zoom in there okay so you can actually see the laser over here and the hole is right in the center what I need to do is adjust my knobs so that I make the laser move so now it's going up and right there it's dead in the center right in the hole and that's where I want it and once I have that in place I can retighten my locking screws and that's gonna have a bit of a influence on the mirror because you, you see it moving a bit so what you have to do is do uh, not one at a time but do tighten them up just a little bit and go to the next one and, and do them all together and that will keep your uh, laser aligned alright and that's all there is to it so that's the procedure it's very simple